two, one, get start. All right. So let's do our usual, some breathing, some meditation to get us into the zone. So find a uh, sitting position that's comfortable, yet alert, and lengthen your spine. Okay, plug your, the crown of your head up towards your ceiling and close your eyes to start. Then we're going to take three centering breaths together. So let's breathe in through the nose. Notice how your chest expands and your shoulders rise. And then as you breathe out, I want you to relax, settle in. Okay, let's breathe in again. Let's draw up energy from the ground beneath us. And then as you release, bring down even further. Okay, last breath together. Let's breathe in through the nose. And a nice long out breath. Gentle, relax. Let the heart rate lower. Okay. I want you to relax your whole body. I want you to find where your breath feels the strongest for you, whether that's the air as it hits your nostrils or the air exits as you breathe out. You can even be your chest expanding, maybe your belly expanding and contracting. Whatever that is for you, I want you to focus just on that. Just continue to breathe. And whatever you use, remember that's called your home base, or your anchor point. It's something to come back to as we settle in. And if you ever find yourself thinking about something, either before this, after this, or something in the past, <clears throat> I want you to just gently come back to your breath. It's okay if you get lost in thought, just realize it, take a step back, and just come back to your home base. So let's go for a little bit longer this time. <clears throat> Continue to breathe. All right, and for this last little bit, I want you to focus on nothing at all. Just sit, hang out for a little bit longer. And when you hear the singing bowl being played, you can open up your eyes, and then we'll start the stretching. Take one last deep breath in. Hold it at the top for a moment. Then you release, gently open your eyes, readjust the light. All right, let's start with a spine stretch or spinal stretch. So I'm gonna to turn to my left. 
putting my right hand on my left knee and twisting counterclockwise as I turn my chin into my shoulder, looking back behind me with each breath, maybe pushing against the ground with your left palm. Okay, give yourself one last push here. And then unwind, come back to center. And let's get our other side, pressing our left palm into our right knee, pushing into the ground with the right palm, the right fingertips and the floor behind you. And then once again, give yourself one last push here. And then begin to gently unwind, coming back to the neutral position. Okay, let's do a sitting side stretch. Take both arms and reach them up above, reaching for the ceiling. And then let's start by on the right side, so planting my right palm on the mat and reaching over my head, reaching reaching for the right hand corner of the room with my left fingertips, feeling that stretch go all the way down my side to my hip. Let's bring that right palm back up towards the ceiling and come down to the left side. Okay. Letting the stretch start from my hip, going up my right side to my fingertips, reaching, reaching, reaching with that right palm, right fingertips. Okay, give me one last reach with that right arm, really extending the stretch down the right side. And then we'll bring that left arm back over the top and then bring the hands to heart center, and then we'll get our cobbler pose. So bring the soles of the feet together in front of us, pulling on the heels, letting the knees drop. Just lean forward, bend at the waist like a hinge. Okay, feeling the inner thighs. <clears throat> Now let's take one little breath in. And then as you exhale, round out your back, letting the knees drop even further down to your mat. Okay. <clears throat> Feeling those inner thighs a little bit more. And we'll sit up. We'll do some <clears throat> something for our hips. So Plant your, the soles of your feet a little bit wider than shoulder distance, and then drop your knees down to your right, and to your left. You can go at your own pace here. You can hold it at the bottom if that's what feels good. But just open up your hips. I'll probably do three or four times for myself. Yeah, let's do one last time, or at least my one last time, since I'm going at this particular speed. All right, <clears throat> and then let's stand up. Let's get our hamstrings. We're going to do a wide stance. Okay, legs are straight, toes are facing forward, arms are reaching up to start. And then we're going to swan dive down. Okay, we're gonna get, let's start by pressing our hands into the ground, pushing ourselves towards the back of the room to start, letting the hamstrings engage. And then you can fold your arms and rest your forehead right on your forearms, rocking side to side. Okay, then let's stop rocking. Let's 
plant our right palm on the floor, right in front of our face, and rotate your left arm up, opening up your chest, opening up your left shoulder. And then reach for the ceiling with those left fingertips, pushing into that floor, all while both hands and you're still engaged. I'm going to take one breath here. And as you exhale, gently lower that left palm down to the ground, and then switch sides. So let's open up the right shoulder while you open up your chest, reaching up towards the ceiling. And once again, as you breathe out, let's lower that right arm down to the ground. Letting the arms and head dangle. Let's slowly straighten up our body on a 10 count. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Ooh. Right, you can bring your legs together. Let's do a standing side stretch. So legs, feet, everything on the bottom together, standing up nice and tall, reaching the arms up towards the ceiling. I don't rest on my left. So drop, dropping my left arm down to my left side. And just like the sitting version, your right arm is above your head, reaching those fingertips towards the upper left-hand corner of the room. And if there's a bend in your elbow, straighten up that forearm and continue to reach, really letting the right side stretch take over. And let's bring that left arm up to the top and let's drop the right arm down to the right side, kicking out the left hip. Okay. If you want to use your right fingertips as a gauge to see how far you're stretching, just slide it down your right leg. See how far you can reach. All right, let's bring that right arm back up to the top, giving one last little reach with both fingertips up towards the ceiling, and then dropping the hands down to heart center. Take off my sweatshirt. <clears throat> it's no longer very cold in the mornings, which is lovely. Right. Let's do, what are we doing? Let's do a neck stretch. Let's do a chicken wing on the right side. Okay, grabbing that left wrist, dropping the head down to the right side. Letting the neck stretch do its thing. And then gently rotate the head forward, looking down at the ground and looking down at your toes. And let's rotate the head backwards, turning the chin and eyes up. Feeling the front of our neck on the left side. And then rotate your head back to the neutral position and then back to center. And then let's Switch chicken wing, so chicken wing on the left side, dropping the head down. Okay, listen to your left ear for a moment. And then rotate the head back as you look up. Maybe look at something on your ceiling, feeling the front of the neck on the right side. And then let's gently rotate the head forward as we Look back down to the mat or back down to the ground. Okay, let's rotate the head back to the neutral position and then back to center. All right, let's do a second neck stretch. So pretend like you're trying to plug your fingertips in towards the ground or towards the ground. Let's drop the chin on the front of the chest, rotate the head to the right, and then rotate the head to the left. Ooh. Out to the right, just loosening up the neck. Okay, go back to the left. Let's do three times each side. Okay, one more time on the right. Ooh. 
Okay, and then to the left. Cool, and then bring your head back to center and then raise your head. Let's get a shoulder stretch. I'm gonna start with my left arm across the top of my chest. Yeah, give yourself one last tug. Really feel that left shoulder. Switch arms. Ooh. I don't know about the rest of you, but my shoulders are definitely sore from yesterday's bike ride. This is much appreciated. All right, let's drop that right arm. Let's get the left arm behind the head for a left tricep stretch. Gently pulling on the left elbow. And let's switch arms, pulling on the right elbow with that right behind the head. Cool, cool. You can release that. Let's do back to the lower body. Let's do a malasana. So medium stance, toes are facing out to about 45 degrees. You can start with your hand to heart center and lower yourself down to the ground. Okay, find whatever position works best for you. Okay, whether that's rocking side to side, if that's an option, or maybe pressing your elbows into the knees to get every millimeter of that stretch. Yeah, we're going to do one deep breath in before we come out. So let's breathe in. And then place your hands on your legs, your knees, if you need that, and support yourself as you get out of that pose. Ooh, all right. So let's start some more stretching. Or let's do, <clears throat> excuse me, a uh, split leg hamstring stretch before we get to the rest of it. I'm going to start on my right. So heels are in line, right toes are facing forward. And then let's reach up to start and then swan dive over the straight right leg. Okay, on this side, drive the left hip towards the front ankle, keeping the right leg from bending or the right knee from bending, feeling the right hamstring. All right, let's bend the front knee and come on up and switch legs. So the left leg is out in front. The right heels are in line once again. Start with the swan dive up top, arms up top, and then swan dive down, 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 down. And let's drive the right hip towards the front ankle, feeling the pinch of the left hamstring. All right, give yourself one last pull and then bend the front knee and come on out. And then we'll start our moving options or stretching. So come to the front of your mat, feet and legs together. Stand up nice and tall. Let's reach the arms up and then swan dive down. We're gonna do two warm up swan dives as usual. Come up to flat back, resting the hands and the shins, the knees. And then round out the back as you exhale and come on up. All right, that's one. Let's swan dive back down. Okay, up to flat back for just a moment. And then come on back down and reverse swan dive, eyes up, head up, looking up. And then let's start. Let's swan dive down for a third time. Come up to flat back. Then as you exhale here, let's plant both palms on the mat as we step or jump back to plank. And then let's chatter on the down. 
to an upward dog. Okay, come back to plank. Give me a push up here if you'd like. Do the first down dog of the day. We all know what's coming. We're gonna do a calf stretch. Let's do two cycles for each side. So bend the left knee and drive the right heel. Okay, all the while pushing the floor away up top. And let's switch side. Let's bend the right knee. Really driving the left heel down. Feeling that stretch in the left calf. Okay, switch sides. And then last time here, back to the left. All right. And then straighten out both legs. And from here, we're going to do some, uh, let's change it up. Let's do feet and legs together. Let's float the right heel up into the air. Okay. And then let's swing that right leg forward and plant it in front of us. <clears throat> Instead of going straight into uh, let's do runner's pose. So just hover over your right leg. Fingertips are barely touching your mat. Okay, feeling that stretch. Now let's come to the left hand side of the right foot. And then either if you can be if you're on your fingertips, great. If you come down to your palms, even better. Or deep breath, I'd say it's not better. We're feeling the stretch. Runner's pose, feeling that stretch on the right hamstring. All right. <clears throat> and from here, let's hover over that front knee and then bring the arms and torso up for crescent pose back to what we know. Okay, I just wanted to change it up a little bit. And let's do a quick prayer twist. So bring the hands to heart center and press the left elbow into the right knee or the right quad. Okay, hands are stacked. They're pressing into each other slightly. All right, let's come back to crescent pose. Arms are reaching up. Front knee is over that front ankle. And then let's exhale, bring the hands back down, plant both palms. Bring that right leg back to plank and let's chaturanga down to our upward dog. And then come back to plank. Give me that optional push up if that's a thing for you. And return to down dog, pushing the floor away. And let's repeat that on the left. So feet and legs together. Let's float the left heel up into the air. And then swing it on through and plant it in front of us. Let's hover over the front knee or front or left knee, I should say, for just a moment, supporting yourself if you need to with your fingertips. <clears throat> and then let's plant both palms on the right side of the left foot, okay, extending the stretch into the left hamstring and lowering your pelvis down, get a little bit deeper into that left hamstring stretch. I don't know about you, but I definitely need this little extra stretch today. Okay, back to runner's pose. Fingertips are barely touching your mat. And then reach the arms up into crescent pose. Left knee is tracking over the left ankle. Okay, stay with me. I know the quad's on fire. And bring the hands together as we transition into Prayer twist on the left. Okay, that back heel should be reaching to the mat. Hands are stacked. Right elbow is pressing into the left knee. All right. And as you breathe out here, let's return to press and pose. Arms are reaching up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, bring the arms back down, plant both palms. Left leg comes back to plank, and let's chaturanga down into our upward dog. Back to plank. Give me a push up here. Let you return to downward dog. All right, and let's do our warrior sequence. 
So feet and legs together. Let's float that right heel up into the air. And then swing it on through. So plant your right leg in front of you. And then bring your arms and torso up as your back heel comes down for warrior one. All right. Now let's add some dynamic movement to our warrior sequence. So from this warrior one, bring the arms and torso back down. Back heel comes up. Right, both palms, right leg comes back. And chatter on that down into our upward dog. Back to plank, give me a push up if that's an option. Into down dog. And then we do warrior one, the left, the feet and legs together. Float the left heel up into the air. And then swing that right, uh, left leg forward, bench in front of us, and come to warrior one on the left. And we're gonna hold it for just a moment. Okay, and then bring the arms and torso back down. Back heel comes up, plant both palms. Left leg comes back to plank. Let's chatter on that down into our upward dog. Back to plank. Give me a push up here if you'd like. In the down dog. Very nice. All right, feet and legs together. Float the right heel back up into the air. And then swing it on through and plant it in front of us. We come, return to warrior one. And from here, we're going to go arm front and back for warrior two. Okay, to check your warrior two, your hips should be 90 degrees from your mat. Your shoulders are right above your hips. Just add the arms and turn the chin forward. And from here, rotate that left arm forward and up into return to warrior one. And then bring everything back down, plant both palms. Right leg comes back to plank, and then we're going to chatter on that down into our upward dog. Back to plank, give me a push up if you so desire. And return to downward dog. And then we're going to bring the feet and legs together and float the left heel, left foot into the air. And then let's swing it forward and plant it in front of us and do warrior one on the left. All right, arms front and back for warrior two. And swing that right arm forward up for warrior one. All right, and then back heel comes up, arms come down, plant both palms. Left leg comes back to plank and shut around that down into upward dog. Okay, back to plank. Do that push up if you like. And return to down dog. Feet and legs together. Let's float that right leg up into the air. And then let's swing it on through and plant it in front of us. And come to warrior one. Arms from back for warrior two. Okay, from here, I want you to reach as far forward as you can with your right hand, right fingertips. We can reach no more. Drop that hand down. Okay. Left arm is reaching up towards the air or up towards your ceiling. And then when everyone drop their left arm behind their back, right arm reaches underneath your right leg. Open up your left shoulder and chest. Okay, look up if you can. And we're gonna hold this for two deep breaths. So let's breathe in and then release. One more time, let's breathe in through the nose. And as you exhale here, drop that right hand back down to the mat, left arm is reaching up. And then we're going to hop back up into warrior two. And then swing that left arm forward and up for warrior one. And let's bring the arms back down to the mat, back heel comes up, plant both palms, back to Blank and let's chatter down into upward dog. And then back to plank. Give me a push up here as we return to downward dog. Very nice. Let's repeat everything on the left side. So feet and legs together. Let's float that 
right, uh, I'm sorry, left leg up in the air, and then swing that left leg forward and plant it in front of us, and come into warrior one on the left. Now you make sure that front knee's tracking over the front ankle, and then arms front and back for warrior two. All right, begin to that reach forward with the left arm, and then drop the left hand down to the mat, reaching up towards the ceiling for triangle pose. All right, let's drop the right arm behind our backs, left arm reaches underneath the left leg, and we're grabbing fingertips, grabbing palm, grabbing wrists. Opening up the chest and the left, uh, right shoulder. And like the other side, let's do our two breaths. So let's breathe in. And then exhale slowly. One more time, breathe in through the nose. And as you exhale, release the hands. Left hand comes back to the ground. Right fingertips are reaching up towards the ceiling. And then let's Hop back up into warrior two. All right, then swing that right arm forward and up for warrior one. And then as the arms come down, back heel comes up, plant both palms, bring that left leg back to plank and chaturanga down as you come into upward dog. Okay, back to plank, give me a push up if you'd like. As you return to downward dog, we're just going to hang on here for just a moment. There's a lot of different sequences, or obviously, you added the <clears throat> what's it called, the chaturanga in a little more upper body. Anywho, from here, step your feet towards your hands. We're going to chair pose, so dropping your bottom down. Down, arms come up for chair pose. All right, <clears throat> keeping your arms where they are, slowly straighten up your body. You get off the heels, standing only on your toes, reaching up for the ceiling. Three, two, one, lower the heels down, bring the hands to center. We're going to twisting chair pose on the left. Okay, if you notice your knees aren't as bent as they could be, see how much you can bend your knees, lower your bottom down. In the lower half of the body. Good. And then return back to center and slowly straighten up your body as you reach up, returning to the toes, feeling those calf muscles once again. Reach, 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 reach. See how long you can get those at your body. And then one breath in. And as you breathe out, lower your heels back down, bring the hands back to center, and then come to twisting chair pose on the right. Okay, pressing the left elbow into the right knee. And then just like before, see how much you can bend your knees as you lower your bottom down. Hands are stacked. Okay. For a third time here, return the hands back to center. And as you straighten up your body, bring the arms and hands back up onto the toes. Let's bring the hands back to center as you lower your heels down. Very nice. 
Yeah, we're gonna take a quick 30 second breather or 45 seconds, you can use the bathroom, get some water or whatever. <clears throat> All right, after our post break, restart my watch. Let's do tree. So let's stand up nice and tall, put most of our weight on our left foot, our left leg. Let's bring the right foot in, whether that's above your knee, at the knee, below the knee, whatever, whatever works best for you. Okay, if you need to keep your toes on the ground, that's okay too. We're going to continue to hold this for another three, two, one, and gently bring out the right leg. I'm going to shake out my left ankle. <clears throat> and then we'll get our right side. So let's get 98% of our weight on our right foot, right leg. Bring the left leg in. Okay, add the arms wherever works best for you. Just like the other side, we'll hold it for three, two, one, and gently come out. Ooh, very nice. All right, let's have a seat. Face my door today. Ugh. Do our usual tabletop table. So soles of the feet are in front of us, plants are in front of us, and palms are planted behind us. And then prop yourself up, pushing the floor away, pressing your pelvis up towards the ceiling. You can let your head come back. And with each out breath, see if you can push your pelvis a little bit higher up, push the floor away even further with those palms. Breathing. Stretching, holding yourself up. All right, and your next exhale, gently lower yourself back down. Don't crash, keeping the feet and legs where they are. Let's lie down um, with our backs to the mat. Now, as we clasp our fingertips underneath our lower back, pushing the pelvis up towards the ceiling once again for bridge. Okay, remember the lower half of your body, pushing the floor away evenly with both feet. So from the outside part of your foot down to the heel, and then back to the ball of your foot. Okay, push, 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 push. And then one vertebra at a time, lower your Self back down, gentle, 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 nice. And we're gonna stretch our glutes next. So I'm gonna bring my left heel onto my right quad, making your figure four with my legs, and then either grabbing your hamstring or your right shin. All right, and as usual, we're gonna do our three breaths. With each out breath, I want you to relax, breathe into the left side stretch. So let's breathe into the nose and then out to the mouth. Okay, number two, let's breathe in. A nice long breath out. Noticing how the stretch gets deeper on that left glute. OK, 
Okay, one last time on this side. So let's breathe in. And then control the breath as it comes out. Feel and stretch even deeper now. And then gently re re release the right side. So plant the left foot. Right ankle comes back on to the left side. And let's grab and pull on our left leg. Okay, letting the right side engage. And I'm gonna repeat those three breaths. So let's breathe in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Okay, that right glute is starting to feel nice and happy. Number two, let's breathe in. Gently release. That stretch to start to get pretty deep here. Last time, so let's breathe in through the nose. Out through the mouth. And let's release the left leg down. We're going to do a spine stretch. So we're going to hug in that left knee. Okay. Pull it in as much as you can or as much as is comfortable. We're going to enjoy this little stretch for just a moment. Okay. And then let's pull the left knee out to the left gently. Notice how that stretch changes of the inner thigh. All right, and then back to center. And with your right hand, grab the outside part of your left knee and pull your left knee over your body. And then extend out your left arm to the left side, looking to your left. Okay, think about how your spine is twisting. Okay, we're wringing out everything you don't need. Just like everything else, focus on how your breath affects the stretch, affects your body. Connecting the breath with the body. Okay, one last time, let's breathe in. And as you exhale, let's bring the left leg back over to center, okay? And then let's hug in the right knee, really pulling, stretching, enjoying that stretch. All right, and then bring the right knee out to the right side. All right. And then back to center. Using your left hand, grab the outside part of your right knee and let's pull your right knee over to the left side. Right arm is extended out to your right. And just like before, connecting the breath to the body. Being mindful of how it affects the stretch. Exhaling, getting deeper. Okay, one last breath on this side. So let's breathe in. And then exhale. Very nice. Let's bring the left leg, or I'm sorry, right leg back to center. And then we're going to sit up and do cat cow, continuing, <clears throat> you know, some work for our back. So I'm going to ravel up my mat, just knees like that. All right, we're on all fours. Okay, knees and palms are about shoulder distance apart. You can untuck the toes. We'll do five breath cycles. So let's breathe in through the nose. Head up and butt up, chest is down. Exhale, rounding out the back, pushing the floor away with the palms. Inhale, head up. Exhale, head down. Okay. Inhale, head up. 
Exhale, head down. Inhale, head up. That's three. And then exhale, head back down. Back is arched. Pretending that you're pressing your back up towards your ceiling. Inhale, head up. Exhale, head down. Okay, last time here. Let's inhale, head up. And then exhale, head down. And then come in a neutral spine. I'm going to hop off my raveled up mat. Unravel it. We're going to come in a quick child's pose. The knees are about as wide as your mat. Arms are relaxed on the mat in front of you. Okay, let's get one for our side. So extend the right arm out to the right and stack your left hand over your right hand. Okay, really reaching with your left arm. Noticing that left side stretch. Okay, returning to center. And then let's get the left. So left arm is out to the left. Stack our right hand over our left, reaching, maybe sliding the right hand out more a little so the right side stretch extends even further. All right, come back to the neutral child pose. Cool. Okay. And from there, come forward and out of it. Come into a plank position. We're going to do pigeon. So bring the right foot forward and plant in front of behind the left wrist, dropping the knees down, untucking the back toes, and then settling in wherever is comfortable for you, feeling that stretch in every spot on the right side. See how low you can get, or as low as is comfortable. Maybe with each exhale, relaxing the lower half of your body, letting the stretch take over. All right, relax a little bit deeper here before we come on up and add the left quad stretch. All right, so we're going to plant both palms on the mat and keeping the right one where it is. Reach back behind you with the left arm. Okay, feeling the left quad. Let's stay for two breaths. So let's breathe in. And then exhale, maybe pulling in a little bit more with the left arm. And then one more breath. So breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And let's release the left foot down. We have to take both palms of the mat. Let's come back to plank and let's Plant the left foot behind the right wrist, dropping both knees down and tucking the back toes, beginning to settle in, finding the position that works best for you. Okay, settle in a little bit deeper one last time. All right, and then return to both palms or plant both palms, reach back behind you with the right arm, pulling in the left heel, left, oh, I'm sorry, right heel, right foot. And just like the other side, we're gonna do two breaths. 
So let's breathe in and exhale, pulling a little bit harder. One last breath here. Let's breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Let's release the right foot. Let's get off the left heel. Now let's do our hip flexors. So let's get on the left knee, plant the right foot in front of us. Okay, rotate your hip forward. You're going to pinch in the left side hip or left hip. You can add the arm to pull it from top and bottom if you want to really feel it. Okay, maybe you're reaching over your head to the right for a little super duper action. All right. And from here, let's lower your left arm and then switch sides so you're on your right knee. Left foot is planted in front of you. Let's stretch out that right hip. Okay, once again, adding the arm if that's available to you. Okay, if you're an arm person, give me one last reach. Cool, 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 cool. Let's lower the arm down. And then have a seat. We're going to do a spine stretch. Let's do one with a bunch of... Let's extend out the left foot. Plant the right foot on the outside part of the left leg. Let's wrap our left arm around our right knee. And they turn clockwise. It's similar to what we did in the beginning. It's just returning because it feels so good to twist the spine, unwinding it. Kind of feel that in my right hip too. All right, let's unwind and switch legs. So extend the right leg out, planting the left foot on the outside part of the right knee and wrapping our right arm around our left knee, pressing into the floor with our left palm, looking back behind us. Okay, very good. Let's unwind. And then we're gonna do a hamstring stretch so that left leg is back out extended, bringing the right heel and then reach over or toward your left toes. And remember, if you want to add the extra side stretch, take that right hand and grab the outside part of your left foot. Okay, one last hamstring stretch before we do our closing sequence. Don't work. Let's release that side, switch legs. So right leg is extended, left heel is in, and we're reaching, reaching for our right toes, right ankle. Once again, grabbing the outside part of our right foot, you want to add the left side stretch. Okay, and then let's release there. And then from here, extending out both legs, gently lie down on your back. And we're gonna do a, uh, not a child's pose, happy baby. So legs are up in the air, arms are the inside parts of the legs, but then grabbing the outside parts of the feet. Give me a gentle rock side to side. Notice how your spine interacts with your mat or your cushion. Okay. Massage in your spine once again. 
I actually feel this on my inner thighs too as I continue to pull my knees in towards my underarms or towards the floor. Okay, and let's release the, the feet, dropping our legs back down. We're going to go into corpse pose or shavasana. Okay, relaxing the arms at your sides. You can close your eyes. I want you to lie as still as you can. And just scan your body from head to toe. See how you feel. I won't say anything for the next 60 seconds, starting in three, two, one. All right, that was a little over a minute, but that's okay. So reach the arms above you. Okay, point the toes at the bottom. Give a nice morning stretch. Okay, go side to side. Whatever it is you do. Ooh. Okay, and when you're ready, roll on to one side. Resting your face on your hands. Take that moment for yourself. All right. And then using whichever arm is on top, plant that palm on the floor. Push yourself back up. Cross leg position. And lotus. <clears throat> Okay, returning to where we started from. So sitting up nice and tall, you can close your eyes if you like. We're in three last breaths. Give me some sound on the exhales. So let's breathe in through the nose and breathe out with some sound. Okay, number two, let's breathe in through the nose. And breathe out with some sound. Oh. Last time, let's really make it count. Let's breathe into the nose and breathe out with some sound. Oh.
All right, let's bring our hands to heart center. You can repeat after me if you'd like. May we have clear and kind intentions. Let's bring our hands to our foreheads. May we have clear and kind thoughts. Let's bring our hands to our lips. May we have clear and kind communications. Let's return our hands to our hearts. As always, the light in me celebrates and honors the light in you. Namaste, my friends.